As symbols of the nation's racist past have fallen across the country, some in Matthews County are doubling down to keep the Confederacy front and center. The controversy is playing out in a town that has a black population of less than 10 percent. Confederate monuments were pulled from public view after police officers killed George Floyd. But not in Matthews County. Voters decided their monument, which sits on county property, will stay put. Now the Board of Supervisors is taking steps to transfer that land to two Confederate organizations. The board is doing a land survey to um, plot out that land to see about giving it to them. They haven't made a decision yet. Did you say giving? Give, yes. This week on private property in sight of the middle school and the elementary school, which was previously named for two Confederate generals, a Confederate flag was installed. The civil rights group says this is a sign of the times. A lot of rhetoric about um, CRT, of course, and taking back things, um, taking back power, uh, those kinds of, of sentiments have, have been expressed. The controversy is playing out on the op-ed page of the Gloucester Matthews Gazette Journal. The head of the NAACP wrote, if the land around the statue is conveyed to these two organizations, we should reasonably expect to see more and larger Confederate flags in that space. Days later, a citizen, Bobby Dobson, wrote, do you think we are going to let you continue with this without fighting back? Get over it and leave matters alone, and we will get along once again. Wavy TV has reached out to Dobson to learn more about what he has to say. Matthews is spending up to $2,000 for the survey, which will be needed if the land is given to the two organizations, the Sons of Confederate Veterans and the United Daughters of the Confederacy. To learn more, see this story on wavy.com.